Hey guys, um, I really need to come on here and do uh, dreams that I had uh, over the last week, specifically for the one that I had yesterday morning. Um, before I start into the dreams, uh, if you hear any noises, it's my son Liam. Uh, so yeah, so here I go. Um, so in this dream, I was standing far away, and I saw this huge mountain from a distance. And in this mountain, I saw it open up this hole, and this whole huge swarm of like millions and millions of these these creatures, these bugs, what looked from far away, at my perspective, were like flies, but they really weren't flies. But they flew, but they weren't like house flies or mosquitoes or anything like that. And uh, they came up out of this hole in this mountain, and there was like a huge cluster of them. And they, I knew in my spirit, I heard, if they bite somebody, the person will die. And uh, their bites were really bad. And they stung, and yeah. So I saw this couple, this man and this woman, trying to run into this car to hide. They thought they were going to hide from them. And uh, they got, they ended up getting bit. They didn't make it to the car. Um, they died. Uh, to me, when I woke up from this dream, that was all I saw. When I woke up, I felt like there was a pestilence coming upon the earth, a really bad pestilence, and it was going to kill a lot of people. And the, the colors that I did see were yellow and black from these bugs, whatever these creatures were, they were yellow and black. I don't know if that has any meaning to it. But the car, I felt, re represented the ministry, the, the, the ark, to get into the ark uh, for, for Jesus, for for the believers is what I thought and they didn't make it they died so it was like it was too late and they got attacked by these pestilence so the other half of my dream I had seen the whole entire earth and I saw one half of the earth it was all burnt up it was like and the atmosphere mind you was really really dark uh, so it looked nighttime outside and uh, while I was looking at this I was at a bird's eye view and I saw uh, lava in certain areas, fire burning in certain areas. It was the ground was all black and burnt like charcoal. There was not no life like anywhere that was was beautiful. That not even green trees. There was nothing. It was ugly. And I had this feeling. Feeling my country's coming out. I had this feeling that um, the darkness was coming out to the whole entire earth. So when I looked out back at that section, I saw these big, big, dark demons, these giant demons coming up out of this darkness, and they were walking really slow because they were so huge, but I knew they were coming over to take over the rest of the earth and turn it all into darkness. They were huge. They were, they were burnt up looking. Their bodies were all like big and wide and just burnt up like charcoal. Their eyes had like charcoal eyes with a little bit of fire burning in them like ambers. They were just scary, ugly demons. Um, so I felt an urgency when I woke up because those of us who are awakened, we see in the spiritual and in the physical. And, um, so we, we know that whatever's going on spiritually, it's here on the physical, but we can't see with our physical eyes unless you have the gift of discernment and the gift of like to be able to see when you're, when you accept Christ in your life, your scales off your eyes get lifted and the veil gets torn away and you can see behind the curtain on what's really going on out there. So... Yeah, and I know this to be true because my, my son has this gift to where he can actually see them. He sees what they look like. I see them through dreams, and I can get an image in my mind when I, when I know they're around. An in, image comes to mind, and I know what kind I'm dealing with, whether they be really, really tiny, whether it be medium length, or whether they be really, really large. I can feel them and sense what they look like in my mind. But my son, my oldest, Mason, he actually sees them in the physical, with his physical eyes, on um, what's going on spiritually. Um, for instance, uh, about a week ago, we went to out of town, and when we were driving in the car, he told me that he saw this huge demon climbing on this fountain that was outside. They climb on buildings. He sees them. They can't touch him because he's covered in the blood of Jesus, and he believes on Jesus. And, um, but, yeah, so this stuff is true, so... Yeah, we, we, it's Ephesians 6.12. I'll link it in the description box for anybody that doesn't know that scripture. Uh, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the darkness, the rulers, the principalities of high, in higher places. Uh, and these are what we battle against. Um, so yeah, I really wanted to share those dreams with you guys. And I pray all is well and blessed. And I love you guys so much. And bye!